house. Woo! Customers! What are we doing today, Jordan? We are going to feed cows. The moo moos. You're dressed up all punchy well, today. What what you been up to? Well, we went and helped the neighbor. Hold on. Take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying Willie's got a broken ankle, so that's why I'm working my gates too. No big deal. I'm not lazy. Anyway, we had to go help the neighbors uh, wean. So just ranching. Hey DB, why are you super puncher? Because I can <laughs> I can rope better than you. I can ride better than you, and I never come back empty-handed. No, it's not just a protein tub. I also found this awesome sign. <laughs> Would y'all find nothing? <laughs> Yeah, Tokyo uh -oh. stuff. I was up there waiting is long enough for me to Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I even got on LinkedIn. <laughs> waiting on y'all forever. It's like I'm playing cards with my brother's kids. I filmed season two of How to Be a Cowboy while you This will look great in the tack room. And this water trough slash feed tub is $350 a tractor supply. Daddy just saved us a trip. That's two full days, right. one day of day working for me. Hey, well, you can't steal it, you know that. This? Yeah. It was there for a reason. It's going to put it back. back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping the sign though. <laughs> Just ranching, got up pretty early this morning. I was gonna come, I wanted to come honk these cows in last night because we got back a, a decent time, but I was, I was really tired. Yeah, yesterday was a full day. You weren't even, you didn't get back until... Do we have, oh yeah, uh, we got four wheel drive. Seems like full yeah. Oh, look, cows. Yes. Customers. That's my mom's favorite Winnebago Weekly. Customers. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel proud. Are you excited to be doing some Winnebago weeklies? Oh, oh. Yeah, so Willie's about to leave to go out of town on Sunday, and it's gonna be my job to take over Winnebago weeklies. I hope you got that look. Oh, I did. The weeklies go up by like tenfold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they, that much will happen. All right, we gotta go a little fast here. It's a little, it's a little money. Hold on. Are you trying to get them in the trap? Yeah, I'm gonna go up here and turn around. Actually, we're not gonna take them into the trap, we're gonna take them to right in front of the trap because I don't want to take them in the trap because I didn't set the gates and I'm not gonna make the mistake that I made from last time because I forgot about this one gate and I might have let a cow and a couple calves out onto the neighbors. So we're gonna avoid that whole situation. When'd you do that? Uh, two days ago. <laughs> That's the reason why we're out here, actually. Just saying. Forgot to mention that. Yeah, but you see, you admit when you make mistakes. Like that, yeah, that's I an totally, admirable trait. Yeah, I totally forgot this gate, and we were trying to push this one cow and calf in. It's actually a cow, two babies, and a yearling. So I had this plan and it seems to be working a little bit is I wanted to honk the cows in. I want to honk them up to right in front of the trap. Well, I don't want to take them into the trap because I don't want to, I forgot to set, go ahead and go set those gates. There's little, there's but cows are going to come through the trap. Yes, yeah, so they're going to come into the trap. We're going to close all the gates once they come into the trap. And you're going to sort them. And then we're going to sort them off. And then I don't have to worry about our cows getting in with their cows. And then I'm going to have their, our cows stuck in the trap. And then I can just push them into here. And then we'll be good. And there's the cow I need. Because I asked Dale, I said, does your neighbor know that the cows are 
on his place, and he said, no, he probably doesn't even know that yet. And I said, I said, okay, well, that might be good. That might be good. That might be good. So, I felt, dude, I felt this small. When, when it I, happened. When I let that happen, because I was like, man, this was easy job. I should have seen so this easy. coming. Exactly. And I was like, you know what? And Cole kept telling me, he was like, Jordan, it's ranching. Stuff like that's going to happen. And I was like, okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. I still feel really bad about it. I did feel really bad. I thought Dale was gonna hate me and he was gonna be really mad at me because I messed up, but I'm trying to fix my mistake the best way I know how, and that's just to fix it. For This is actually a lot of effort, but. <laughs> we don't have to bring horses out yet. I don't have to bring horses. He's not here, like he's not having to come out here. It's just you, what... it really is just you because I can't do anything. So there's a gate. So the gate that they originally got through is over here. So not over here, originally got through. They got through the gate in the back. But there's a gate right here that I plan on opening for them to come into the trap because now I got this feed. So what I can do is I can like push them in. And then also too, that the other gate for them to get back into over here is right there too. So if I can get them to come in and then like, yeah, this is gonna Come on, cows! <laughs> so I'm just gonna feed them right here. Does that make sense? Like mm -hmm. right in front of the gate of the trap. So then like the, the cows that are not on our field will think that they're over here. So they just and come they out. come over too. Not seeing them, Harry. <laughs> oh yeah, they're, they're coming. Woo! But our bull was over there, and I know I didn't let that sucker over there. So the only other concern I have is I need to make sure 77 isn't here because I believe that the other little calf belonged to 77 and that obviously was not with the cow that just came in which was 249 so as long as 277 isn't here that makes me feel like the calf made its way back over here so I'm just gonna check make sure she's not here if she's not here then we're good did you see that? I got it on camera though is that 77 right there? I think it's 77 so is that everyone then? If that, as long as that one calf I couldn't tell that was over there that came up with them, that cow and that bull. Mm. So the good news is I got the bull back, the cow back, both the little babies that got over there, and the yearling, and now we have a fresh new baby. So all the cows are here. Both. The heifers are here, and I'm pretty sure all the babies are here. The bull's here, and yep. I fixed my mess up. Oh, go catch him. Oh, dude, that's a fresh fish. <laughs> he's only a couple days old. Or he's got to be, because I was just out here on whatever day it was. Wednesday morning. All the ones I let out over there are now back over here, so mm. I'm good. <laughs> I got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, got her country girl shoes on off road. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan, for not being very much help. <gasps> very neutral. All right, well, mission accomplished. I feel better about myself a little bit. What would your life lesson be from this event? Uh, check all your gates. Just, you just keep just, driving just, right here. Yeah. <laughs> check all your gates. <laughs> also, don't litter. Yeah. We had a mission to accomplish here. We're gonna start to destroy mission. We know. It was a search and destroy mission on foot with feed. And you know what? Cowboys win. Cowboys win. <laughs> That's it. That's all. <laughs>